soon the glory share And where the souls of me shall enter And live on forevermore Everybody will be happy over there Still everybody will be happy over there Over there I said, oh, we'll be happy And he said, oh, my And we will shout unto Idol, even unto Idol and you have. Surely I am more brutish than any man, and have not the understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom, nor have the knowledge of the holy. Who hath ascended up into the heavens, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? What is his son's name? If thou canst tell. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add not unto his word, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Amen.
certainly we rejoice uh, within it. Uh, we are grateful for those of you who are visiting uh, with us this morning. We trust that you have any questions, concerns, then jot it down on a piece of paper or pull me or Stanley aside and ask your question. We'd be more than happy to give you a Bible answer for your Bible question. Uh, this is not the first time that our speaker has been this way. Some years ago, uh, we brought him out of Mississippi. Uh, he did an outstanding job. We were very much pleased with him and the messages that he brought. And we thought uh, to ourselves that it would be good to bring Stanley Williams uh, out of the Delta, Mississippi and bring him back to Texas County. Uh, he comes uh, today with his wife. Uh, they have uh, two children. Uh, he is the chaplain uh, at Parsley, Mississippi. I've uh, been doing that probably, what, 30 years? 27 years, okay. I know that. He gave pretty close to 30 years. Uh, Stan Williams and I had a great time at Parchman. I was in the, uh, the psych department. Uh, my responsibility were to test inmates, make sure they're taking the appropriate medication. Uh, but every once in a while, we get an inmate, uh, he'll come in with one question. Uh, he'll bring up the law. We, we'll talk to him about the law. Amen. And some respond. But we baptize him into the Lord. Don't tell parchment, though. They might be upset. <laughs> We're looking forward to having a, 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 a great time. Uh, Stanley, uh, I've been knowing him uh, for a long time. He has been preaching for, over, what, 46 years? Okay, that's a long, long time. So that means that he got some wisdom with that 46 years. So all the questions that you desire to ask, you ask. Amen. While well, we got Brother uh, Stanley here. We're looking forward to his having a great time with he and his wife. And we uh, trust uh, this morning that you will listen attentively and the message will touch your heart and move you into a greater relationship with the Lord. Our theme is as death in the pot. In every pot that we eat, especially if man is handling it, uh, you can have some death there. So you got to be able to discern the good from the bad, that which is edible and that which is not. And we are grateful to have Brother Stanley Williams to share the gospel with us all of this week. He's from uh, Greenville, Mississippi. Yes, recently moved to that congregation. Seems like uh, when I make a step, Stanley makes a step. Uh, I used to be the minister of the, Greenville, uh, of the Church of Christ on Highway 82 in Greenville, Mississippi. And we're grateful that uh, Stanley is enjoying himself there and the folk are treating him right. And we are so very thankful for that. Uh, this morning, before we uh, have Brother Stanley come up, and he come up with a song, since he, since he leads song. Amen. He's one of these William brothers can sing. <laughs> uh, before he comes, look to your neighbor, look to your friend, and tell them that God loves you. And I love you too. God loves you. And I love you too. That is wonderful. That's wonderful. That's the family and I in Greenville do something very similar to that expression as well. And we want everyone that come our way to have a greetings in the Lord. And, that, that, and that's one way to meet and to greet uh, in the Lord. It's good to be here. It's good to be here in uh, Texarkana. Texas. Amen. Amen. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I might tell folks I went to Texas. Praise the Lord. Again, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We're delighted to have you here. Uh, right quickly, uh, since uh, some have suggested that I sing, my wife wants me to do her the song, but I'll try to get that one later. <laughs> I'll try to get that one later. 
right. the glory land way. Right. In the old book there, the 459, the glory land way. Amen. I'm in the way, the bright and shining way. Bibles 
people in the house this early morning now. Let's look at them. Yes, yes. Yes, all right. All right. If you don't have your Bible and you're sitting by someone uh, who would like to share theirs, uh, then ask them to share the uh, Bible with you. They'll come because we want everyone to have an access to it uh, so that we can all see uh, what the Word of God is all about. You're not just here to see how good I look. Hey Amen. I know I look good. <laughs> and, and, and even if you don't agree with me, if, if that lady over there say I look good, that, that's all I want to hear. <laughs> I'm so delighted to have my wonderful wife with me in this audience this morning. Delighted to have Sister Avery Williams. And I'm delighted that uh, there are some wonderful things that are not only going on here now, but will go on. Amen. 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 And I'm trying to make, whoever doing that fish, I'm trying to make my day. Uh, when I get there, praise the Lord. <laughs> All who love God must respect biblical authority. For what we do religiously. That's what I want to talk with us about. And our work this afternoon, particularly, Lord willing, with that thing. But I want us to look at and think about the theme as you look at this guest. Death in the pot. Well. Spiritual death yeah. in the pot. All right. All right. And I want you to consider why is there death in that pot? Now I'm gonna work with that just a little bit specifically this afternoon, Lord Willie, but but look at that under this umbrella about biblical authority. If we don't respect biblical authority, then what authority are we respecting? When it comes to spiritual matters. All of us, and I know that we are, uh, have a generation coming up now to where there are times we really need to go back to the basics and make sure that they understand, especially these young preachers that are coming after us. All right, all right. Have a good role. They need to get it. They need to get it and learn how to common sense apply grace. All right. All right. Don't run wild with grace. All right. Let's understand it and let's use it in a way in which it is designed because a lot of time uh, it is quite possible that death is being put in the pot under the name of grace. All right. Grace seems to be running some folk away from biblical authority. And what we need to understand is when we operate truly with a knowledge of grace, we are all respect biblical authority. Because grace doesn't operate apart from that. God gives us authority. His authority from the Word of God. Listen to the Bible, and I'm hoping that we have, especially on the front pew here, amen, praise the Lord, some good readers. Right. Amen, amen, praise the Lord. Listen to Proverbs chapter 30 and verse uh, number, particularly verses 5 and verse number 6. What are you good readers uh, there? What does, what does the proverbial writer tell us in this text? He said what? Every word of 
word of God is true? Every word. I like that. I like that. Every word. Now, if God said it, every word of God is true.
Nobody can run off, off from the God's word and then talk about, oh, you know, uh, grace got me covered. I'm a child, you don't look that good. Grace ain't going to cover you because you look nice. Every one of us have to obey God's word. Listen to the word of God. Go down and read the text. The Bible says what? And thou not unto, unto thy his word. Read. Let he reprove thee. And thou be found alive. Let me tell you something. The word of God will show anybody up who does not obey his teaching that they are alive. What did the apostle Paul say? Let God be true and every man a lie. Whenever we begin to operate spiritually and religiously out from under the umbrella protection of the pure word of God, then somebody messing with that pot. And let me know because I don't want to mess with that pot that man messed with. I need to stay away from that pot. You see, you don't need to eat the cooking of somebody who can't cook. Now, I know that person who can mess with that fish is going to do a good job. Amen. <laughs> that awesome. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And since, and since Sister Weaver don't eat fish, who, I, I, you're going to have to do a good job with some chicken for her. <laughs> yes, indeed. But if it's messed up, it won't taste good. You know. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Mississippi. I know what tastes good. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Don't nobody need to mess with the pot. All right. You need to leave the pot alone. The only one who needs to mess with the spiritual pot is God. What to put in. And mankind does it. What's the Bible? Jesus is the one with all authority. Look over at Colossians chapter 3. You hold it until I get there because I'm not going to be long here. Time is moving from it. But what's the Bible? In Ephesians chapter, in Colossians chapter 3, verse number 17. But now what? Jesus, when Jesus got up from the grave uh, on that great getting up morning, Jesus came to his disciples. Yeah. He met them near Jerusalem and on the mountain perhaps of, of Olivet right before he stepped on the cloud and went back to glory. Right. Mm -hmm. After he gave them the great commission he upbraided them first of all for their lack of faith in him. I don't know why they still had problems. Yeah, with a faith issue. Well. After all Jesus had done and gone through and shared with them. But I'm glad they finally got it. Even though he had to break them for it, I'm glad he put them back in line and when he did that, he gave them the great commission. And one thing that he said is, all power all right. has been given unto me. Now the one that I need to trust yeah. to follow his will is the one who has been given all power. Yes, all right. Amen. I do not need to follow any man and anyone who don't have no power. Right. <laughs> Jesus says all power. Been given unto me in heaven and in heaven. Yes. And remember, before Jesus went to the cross, his not a prayer to the uh, his his prayer to the disciples was that they were to pray the kingdom of God. And the will of God be done on earth. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. That will be done by people who love the Lord. Amen. 
and who follow his word and not their own. Now when 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 Jesus told Peter, go to Matthew chapter 16, before we get to Colossians chapter 3. Matthew chapter 16 and verse number 18 and 18. Watch, watch what we have here uh, when we look at what Jesus uh, is doing to and with his disciples. Matthew chapter 16 and verse number 18 and 19. The Bible says, what read about? And I say unto thee, I say unto thee that thou art Peter, that power at Peter and, upon and upon this rock, I'll build my, I'll build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Read the Bible. I will give unto thee the key of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever. Hold on. Read that verse again, verse number 19. I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Read the Bible. And whatsoever. Hold on. <laughs> What's the way out? You bind on earth. Yeah. Read. Show me what. Bound in heaven. Bound in heaven. Read. Whatsoever. What's the way out? Thou shalt lose. Thou shalt lose. On earth. Hold on. <laughs> Whatsoever you lose. On earth. All right. Shall we work? Lose it. You know, you know, you know, when you really look at the expression from the from the Greek point of view of that of that verse, Jesus is saying, whatever is already bound in heaven is what you bind. On earth. Yeah. All right. Come on, brother. And whatever is already uh -huh. alive yeah. or loose in hell All right. yeah. is what you are possible. All right. Alive. Alive. All right. <coughs> in other words, the apostles could not make a move without giving heaven authority. And the apostles cannot allow on the earth what heaven had not given them the authority to allow. Why is it that we men who are preachers and leaders in the church of Christ cannot allow a woman to get up here and do what I'm doing now. Because heaven hasn't allowed us to allow. Amen. We cannot allow what heaven has not allowed. Here, you know, some woman said, Well, you know, I can preach if, if, the, if the elder or the preacher give me authority. They don't have the authority. Oh, right. No apostle has given them authority to us. And Jesus didn't give that authority to the apostle. So if we are an apostle, would allow that. So we are poison in the pot. <laughs> and that pot ain't worth eating from. That's all right. I like some good soup. I don't want nothing in that soup that ain't never been in there. When I go to the house, you let me pick a bad soup now. I'm going to throw it away, and I ain't getting that soup no more. Because I like a good soup. <laughs> and to put anything in God's system of order that God didn't say is bothering the problem. You know what? Truly, when someone does that, 
They really and truly do not know how to love and appreciate God. Anybody who cannot accept God's word, just like it's written, they don't love and appreciate God. If we love and appreciate God, we won't even want to add anything to the pot. We'll leave the pot alone. Because the pot has the best pottage in it because it came from the maker. The best man who knows what to put in the pot. Now watch this. Look over there. And I have to do it quickly. Right quickly. Around about verse number 41 and 42. And watch what we have here. Because I need us to understand something. I need us to understand that all of us, all of us, who love the Lord, Every one of us who love the Lord, follow the apostle doctrine. And if we don't, if there is a system of faith that is doing something outside of the apostle doctrine, it is because somebody is putting some potage in there that's poison and the poison is bad. All of us have to follow the apostle did not, 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 not only uh, the folk over the under. Problem, the problem with many of us is we're looking over the under. We're looking over the under. We are trying, we realize, and some too many of us are too lazy to get out. from the folk over yonder. We get an idea from them. Mm -hmm. And we're running too far <laughs> with this concept about well, they're doing some of the things that we ought to be doing. Mm -hmm. So we're running too far with that. Mm -hmm. right. And we get an idea from them folk over yonder. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. we are too lazy to get together yeah, right. Amen. and take this word of God yeah. mm -hmm. Amen. and go out there in the community mm -hmm. That's right. and raise up the Bible yes. to folk who need it. Amen. Amen. And gimmicks and all of the sensationalism that accompany many of these gimmicks or drawing these people, you know what? When you draw folk with those gimmicks mm -hmm. and that, that emotional sensationalism, you have to keep, keep your stuff up to keep folk. That's right. right. Keep it up. Keep it up. And you can't do that. Because they were drawn <coughs> by that yeah. rather than the pure word of God. All right. Amen. Amen. When you teeth for the gospel and they're drawn by the pure word of God, you don't have to worry about them running whenever the storm comes. Because you got them rooted to Jesus Christ. Not to sensationalism, not to emotionalism. Now emotion have its place and we can be excited about worshiping the Lord. I'm excited about worshiping the Lord. But I want you to know it comes from people who realize that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. And we're drawn to, us, to Jesus, not to us. With that sensation of emotionalism. When we look at what the early church did and do what they did, mm -hmm. then we become what they became. And watch where they got their doctrine from. Acts chapter 2 and verse 41, the Bible said what? 
Yes, sir. And they glad and they glad to receive the word. Well, bad was that time. And the same, same day, day they were added unto them. Added them. Now, 3,000 people heard the gospel. More than 3,000 heard it, but at least 3,000 responded. And they responded to the same word. They didn't have a different word. They responded to the same word. And watch what they did as time continued to flow. The Bible said, what? Hold on, my best. <laughs> 3,000 were baptized and after they were baptized yeah. they continued not in their own word but they continued in the apostle doctrine. Remember the apostles were the one told yes. by Jesus uh -huh. whenever you bow on earth We'll be down in here. And whatever you lose on earth, we'll be lose in heaven. That's all right. Mm -hmm. These people were taught by the apostles. And they continue in their teaching. Mm -hmm. Because they were putting the right thing in the pot. Yes, all right. Sir. All right. Yes, sir. Everything they were putting in that pot caused life. And that's, therefore, they continue to grow and get spiritual life. Watch the Bible. Watch this. Go down and read the text of the Bible. Say what? And they continue to continue say faster, faster in the apostle doctrine. doctrine and fellowship, fellowship and breaking bread, breaking bread and, in prayer. and in prayer. Read the Bible. And the fear came and the fear upon, came every, upon soul, every soul and many and many the signs of the apostles. Read the Bible. And all, and all of the believers were together, together and had all things come. Read the Bible. Go and read. Go and read. Read the Bible. Had all things come. Read the text. And, and sold their possessions. And sold their possessions. And the and all men and every man. Read the Bible, sir. And, every, and, and, and they continued daily. Continue daily. And they continued daily. And they continued from house to house. And they came up breaking bread from house to house. To eat their meat with gladness and sin is in heart. Read the Bible. Praise God. Praise God. And they have a sacred heart. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. <laughs> they continue. Yeah. Not only did they start out with the apostle done, but they continue daily. Yeah. Yes. yes, sir. Fellowship and pray. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking bread. Yeah. And then they started going from house to house. Oh, yeah. Ate their meat with gladness and sing them from heart. And then what they do? So that possession of good and the all men that the man had me. Read. Continue daily one according to the temple. Breaking bread. Breaking bread. Come to how? Did it come to me? That's a sin of God. Read. Praising God. Praising God. Hold it. So they have this fellowship. They prayed together. They shared substance together. And they prayed God. And then they found favor with all the people. You see, yes. they found favor with the people because the people saw love among them. And that's another thing that we need, right. we need to stop doing in the church. Right? We need to stop fighting one another. Everybody in their old little corner. We want support over there. They want support over here. They can't come over here. We won't go over there. Fighting, trying to have the best congregation. I'll tell you something, how would these congregations belong to Jesus? <laughs> Don't none of us have authority and position that Jesus didn't allow us to have. Right. <laughs> Milton, it ain't about me and you, it's about Jesus the Christ. Amen. The church of Christ still belongs to Jesus. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
tell us to do. Amen. Don't put anything in that pot. That's right. That don't need to be in that pot. Amen. If, uh, that's why right, I take something away from it. That's right. If Jesus didn't give it to us, we don't need it. Amen. All of us need to do what Jesus told Amen. us to do. Amen. And we need to be satisfied. And by the way, pull your eyes away from over there. That's right. And put your eyes up there. Amen. Amen. We ain't supposed to be looking over yonder. They ain't got nothing we need over there. We need to look up there. But he has, has, has everything that we need. We need to seek the glory of God. Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 1 following. We need to put our eyes and set our affection on things above. Yeah. Some of us are falling in love with what we see over there. Yeah. I want to tell you, I'm around them people all the time. As a chaplain at party, they come in the party. As a chaplain at the state penitentiary, I'm around them all the time. They are just as phony as you ever want to see. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been, I'm talking about I'm talking about twenty something years of this stuff. All right. <clears throat> I'm getting sick of it, Steve. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Green River that allowed us to know that me and my wife know we can move in there full time next year. All right. When I get free, I'm out of jail. All right. I'm planning to get free next year. All right. And so, but while I'm there, when the inmates hear the truth, yeah. they recognize the difference in from the truth and what they've been hearing. Yeah. This stuff is fake among these people. I'm talking about religious leaders. I'm around the altar. These folk are phony. Yeah. Yeah. That religion ain't nothing but emotion, and it's empty. Yeah. These, these folk get out of jail after hearing this stuff. They get out of jail and commit more crime. What I got out of jail after hearing this, this religious, whatever it was, and then join one of those groups. Didn't stay with him very long at all. Got back on one of his, his old ways yeah. and went to the uh, uh, grandmama who had been supporting him all the time that he was in prison, coming to see him, putting him on his books and giving him money and blah, blah, And he fell back in with his old crowd or his old ways. And because the grandmama wouldn't give him no more money, he stabbed her 67 times. <laughs> Now he's back with a license, he'll never get out of here. Listening to empty release, he took up the poison, and the poison destroyed. That's right. Let me close this, because I got to speak again this afternoon. All right. Poison. That's what happened to the pot. When, when they put that, I'm going to show you what they put in this afternoon. When they put it in there, it part of the pocket. Yes. And in plain it, any time somebody, whoever it is, add to God's word, yes. anything that it does not say, they are putting poison in the pot. Yes. And it won't do any good to save the soul of the men. Take your Bible and do your own search. Yeah. Find your faith in the Bible. Yeah. Find the religious preferences that you're receiving and the teaching that you receive. And see, can you find it in the Bible? Amen. And if you can't find it, then you may be drinking the poison yeah. in the pot that somebody's putting where you go. Mm -hmm. Because
Because if they're going to teach you something, you need to be able to find it in the Bible. It needs to be in the Word of God. And anything that's not in the Word of God, everybody needs to leave it alone. And as we look at Colossians chapter 3, let's close with that one. Watch the Bible. Whatsoever you do in word, hold it right there. Your word has to be right. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, not only must your word be right, but your action have to be right. Your word must be by the authority of Jesus. Your action must meet with the approval and the authority of Jesus. And then what he said, read the text. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all. Do all. And that means by his authority. You do it all. In the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. You can't do anything in the name of Jesus that Jesus didn't tell you to do. You can't say anything in the name of Jesus that Jesus didn't tell you to say. Do you not know that Jesus said his word was not his, but the Father who gave it to him. Everything that Jesus spoke, he spoke because he got the word from the Father. Amen. And when Jesus left and the Holy Spirit came back, the Holy Spirit didn't speak of his own. He got the word from Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, now. Everybody got their words from the Father. Amen. And no man, bless on the heart, and no one got any business speaking a word or doing a thing that does not meet with the approval of the Father. All right. All right. All right. And if it happens, somebody is pouring them in the pot. Right. And let me stay away. From that part. Hear the gospel today. Yes. Know that Jesus is God's Son. Yes. Believe he was the same. That's right. He was 11 and 6. Yes. John 8, 21 to 24. Yes. Know that Jesus is God's Son. Yes. Yes. Know that you need to repent of your sin. All right. Turn around from everything. If you have been following the wrong way, yes. if you've been doing the wrong thing, and you've been following the wrong leader. Right. And, and, and watch this now. Every one of these religions of uh, uh, faith have a leader. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, the leader ain't God. That's right. Any faith that exists outside of the authority oh. of God's word did not come from God. All right. All right. They may sound good. They may be doing a lot of wonderful things. Yeah. But they ain't going to get it with God. That's right. They ain't going to get it with God. That's right. Because God is just. And he's not going to accept anything. But his own word. Amen. Amen. He'll stand on his own word. And he recognize those who follow his word. Will you do that today? Confess that he is the Christ. The son of the living God. Do what that Ethiopian did. Yeah. When he found out the truth of God. Right. Amen. He said, and, and I like this because he purposely asked about baptism. Mm -hmm. What is stopping me? What is hindering me from being baptized? Let me tell you something. When a person loves the Lord, you don't have to be trying to browbeat them to get them to the water. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. When they love the Lord, they're going to come on their own. And they're going to be wanting to know what is stopping me. Do I need to do something else so I can get to the Lord? I'm not going to 
force and fuss at anybody who don't want to come to the world. That's going to be your decision. But I will invite you to come. I believe that there are men here. I believe Milton Hopkins can hold up anybody in that wall. <laughs> Milton will have to prove to me that he can. Because <laughs> I just believe Milton can hold up anybody in that wall. I'm going to step out here and say, I don't believe anybody been drowned. Putting them in the water here in this place. I don't believe anybody been drowned. Come on down when we sing this song. However you have your response made in this congregation, uh, we have a tendency to, to come on down from it. Yes. Uh, whatever the leaders uh, say, make your response. Mm -hmm. Make your response. Jesus loves you and he doesn't want anybody off. Right. He's long suffering. Mm -hmm. And he wants everybody saved. Yes. Amen. He wants everybody to say, and if you're here and you have not been faithful to the Lord, I'm not just talking about faithful to the church, I'm talking about faithful to Jesus. Because if you are faithful to Jesus, guess what? You're going to be faithful to his church. Amen. 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 If you love the Lord and you love him, you know you need to do it with him. You are going to be faithful to the church. That's right. Because you're faithful to Jesus. Amen. If you've not been committed to him, and be committed to him. That's right. My wife is so committed to me <laughs> that if I'm dressed up in a suit that she did this morning, and there's something that's on that suit that's standing out, that she don't need to be removed, she may not just even come up to me and say, you got something on your suit, she just go and move. <laughs> She'll go and move. <laughs> Because of she's faithful to me. Yeah. And she knows that her husband also, uh, to a certain extent, represents her. All right. Good you know, she's going to let me know. You ain't going out here looking at the cowboy and representing me. See, I'm always expressing that, but she'll do that. Yeah. Because she's faithful to me. Yeah. The little things that she, she's faithful to. Mm -hmm. I want to beg her to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't be able to, she'll do it because she's faithful. And Amen. whenever you love the Lord, you're faithful to him. You're good at That's right. You don't obey him. Mm -hmm. You'll be faithful to him. To, to, Stephen, none of these other leaders will have to beg you to do anything. You come to them and ask them, what can I do? That's right. That's right. Because you love the Lord. Yeah. And you're faithful to the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Steve, I tell you, you blessed me, brother. I don't know what you did. Green, but I tell you, you sure made it red for me. Amen. 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 And they're going to pay for the registration fee for the state relationship. All right. I don't know what to do with you. So I, uh, let me shake your hand. All right. All right. Because the church I'm preaching at now, he is the preacher. He got a record. Right. <laughs> he moved all the boulders and everything out of his way. I'm so glad.
challenge you, but it still won't cause you to lose your focus. Yes. Yes. Because you love the Lord. Yes. Amen. And you're faithful to Him. Yes. Amen. Come on now, respond to the word. If you are here and you've been unfaithful, you already remember the church. Mm -hmm. You've been unfaithful to Him.